Hey everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to Part 11 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Time to grab the first artifact of Floor 3, which is the printing press from Mainz, 1455. When young Johann Gutenberg was growing up in Germany, at the turn of the 15th century, books were very rare and expensive because a scribe had to duplicate each copy by hand. What a very boring life. Since Johann was a child of great curiosity who loved to fuck, I mean read, he dreamed of a faster, easier way to make books. Luckily, Johann had inherited a large fortune. This allowed him to dedicate all his time to the invention that would soon change the world. Condoms. The secret he realized was in finding a way to print words so copies would be quick and effortless. Gutenberg first tried carving letters from wood, but the printing came out crooked and blurry. He continued to experiment, spending all of his father's money during the 30 years it took to perfect the printing press. Oh, all that money got in a waste just to make something that makes books. The final press made with movable metal type worked perfectly. His childhood dream realized at last, Johann printed his first books in 1455. They are known today as Gutenberg Bibles. There we go, that one was quite easy. Now we're gonna head over to Germany in 1455. I'm gonna go this way. This is a very, very weird way to organize all the cities. Like seriously, Calcutta, Mainz, Alexandria, London, what, what the hell? Like they're not even any order of any kind whatsoever. It's ridiculous. Like just imagine if you're trying to do up the years like 1, 7, 2, 0, 4, 8, Q. What the hell? Can you imagine that if the numbers were in the wrong order? Like, the people that made this game would be burned at the stake, and nailed at the cross, and forced- WHAT THE HELL?! Oh man, I was just about to head into the whirlpool, but an invisible mind got me. Invisible minds! That's ridiculous. I mean, that's something you would use in Afghanistan, not in Mario's time machine. Like, I'm pretty sure the Taliban can come up with cloaking devices for their explosive devices and all that stuff. They would use it! But anyways, let's do this again. Okay, one more mushroom. I need one more. There we go. Oh, there was a mine in there, too. Just imagine if I hit it. Ah, now we're in Germany. Hello, is this letter yours? Shh, son! This is a library. I have absolutely no use for what appears to be a metal letter or wax seal. Perhaps the fellows of the mint might have made that. Does Eric Gutenberg have a library card? A what? Gutenberg used to come in here every day when he was a little boy. What a bookworm that kid was. Most families can't afford to have a single book in their home. Does Gutenberg come here anymore? Nine! He's been too busy trying to invent a faster and cheaper way to make books in large quantities. I hear that's all he does anymore. Could this better le metal letter help him? Well, you don't look to have to be a librarian to know that every book is filled with letters. But enough talk. Try some of this tea. I grow it to myself in the cathedral garden out back. Can't you tell me about this letter G? Do I have to spell it out for you, Mario? I can't talk anymore. Our books are so valuable that many have locks on them. But I now have lost the key to the mayor's favorite book. I must find it. Hello, do you recognize this metal letter G? Hmm, no. I work with animal skins, making parchment. These sharp lines would make a big impression on my products, though. Why not ask the scribe next door? It's mis business as letters, after all. Sounds interesting, but what's white parchment? I'm glad you asked. It's goat or sheep skin that has been carefully crafted to be soft, clean, and thin enough to write on. The stock we make here is very good, and very expensive. Do you know anything about Herr Gutenberg? I'm impressed by your curiosity. Actually, I know quite a bit about him. But I really can't chat unless it's over a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, you British person here. Hmm, cathedral tea. 
My absolute favorite. Thanks, Air Mario. Now, what were you saying about Johan? What's his so-called secret project? Secret? Haha. <laughs> Everyone in Germany knows he's been working on a printing press for at least 30 years. That's a long time. Is he finished? Well, if he doesn't pay back the money he borrowed, they might throw the book at him. But he swore he would print a Bible this year, and Gutenberg always keeps his word. Alright, I'll go see him later. Actually, first I'm a bit busy. Hi, what are you doing? It's not hard to describe what a scribe does, plumber. I sit at my table and copy books. How does he know he's a plumber? Word by word by word. Excuse me for yawning. I get so sleepy. Yeah, I would too if I had to write entire books word for word for word over and over and over again. Do you like your work, scribe? You idiot! I love books, but as a career, this is nothing to write home about. Copying manuscripts is hard work. It takes forever. No wonder books are so darn expensive. Would this metal letter G help? If that were used to print letters, it could make 50 Gs in a minute. Or it would take me hours. Then I'd have more time to eat my wife's cooking. Have a drumstick. Well, I hope Gutenberg's invention works out. Me too. If I have to copy one more book. Oh well, they say the only good writing is rewriting and rewriting it. Oh dear. I'm going to need a ladder to reach that ink on the closet shelf. Yeah, let's get one. Ah, this is some place. What do you do here? This is a very important mint, and I'm a very important craftsman. I use silver, gold, and lead to make keys, coins, metals, and other important things. Hi, did you make this metal letter G I have here? That's not my work. Johann Gutenberg made that. He thinks he's the only person in Mainz, besides the jewelers, who knows about metal crafting. Does Gutenberg wor work here with you? He thinks he's too important to work here. If he had inherited a fortune from his father, things would be different. He spent the whole pile buying expensive metals for a secret project. What's a secret project? You can tell me. Huh, wouldn't you like to know? I will give you this key, however, as an example of superior metal working. Now it's lunchtime and I can't talk when I'm hungry. Hey, can I borrow a letter for the scribe? Never returns anything, but okay. Here's a drumstick. Mmm, tasty chicken. I was going to have a hamburger and a frankfurt for lunch. They didn't show up. What's so funny? Oh, I suppose you want to know more about Eric Gutenberg. What did Johan use metal for this letter? Oh, he tried wood first, but any fool knows that wood is too soft. The letters came out crooked and blurry, but Gutenberg kept on trying. He used to work here, you know. Oh, I still got that key. I might as well give it over to the uh, cathedral bitch. A spare key! You found it! I can kiss you! Oh, sorry. This is a library. I shouldn't shout. Now, was there some book in particular you wanted to see? I'd like to know more about Gutenberg. Ah, yes. Poor man. He ran out of money while working on his first book, the Bible. If he can't pay the loan backs, they'll make him hand over his invention. Gee, do you still get credit for the press? Everyone means know it's Gutenberg's Bible. Perhaps he should write a book about his life and print it up. Then the whole world would know. Okay, I still got a ladder. No oh, wrong house again. I want to go to the scribe. There's a ladder. Just what I needed. Now I can reach the gold ink in my master's closet. Gutenberg wants to use it in his first book, the Bible. Can you tell me anything else about Gutenberg? I'm no font of wisdom, but if you don't get that metal type to air Gutenberg right away, I'll have to read Gutenberg Bibles. Gutenberg. <laughs> be honest, I'd rather read that. Hi, Johan. Having a productive type of day? Yes, but it's Air Gutenberg to you. Please be on your way now, diminutive one. I'm pressed for time. I must follow my schedule to the letter or this printing press will never be finished. Air Gutenberg, I believe this is your type. And for some reason the papers are actually moving. And you are my type of guy, Mario. But please, call me Johan. He sent me to call you Air earlier like 30 seconds ago. Make up your mind, asshole. Your hard work has helped me to finally finish my masterpiece. What will you do next, Johan? It's Era. Never mind. Well, Mario, after spending the last 30 years working day and night on this printing press, I'm gonna stack a reading up to catch on. To catch up on. Ugh. Sort of words being so small. But anyways, we can get out of Germany before the Sachs Fest starts. Yeah, let's get out of here quick. There we go. Okay, only four more artifacts to go! I can't believe we're almost done with this game. 
And we'll stop the video right here. Next part we'll do the Astrolab. I think that's the Astrolab or some kind of wheel. Anyway, see you later.